Okay. Our next speaker, um, Mr. Zukili Jama from the Faculty of Arts. Welcome, Zukili. And thank you very much. Can you hear us, Zukili? Zukili, there? I'm not sure how um, to, to share my screen, but I know to do it on, on Zoom, but probably you can also help in that regard. Good morning, good morning, colleagues. Um, I am from the uh, Costa Department. Uh, I'm not sure if you can uh, see my um, uh, uh, slide. Uh, I'm mostly going to be talking about uh, uh, assessments and assessment uh, types. But uh, can you hear me? We don't see your screen. You don't see my screen. Um, I sh yeah okay. I shared my um, um, presentation. But uh, I'm sure if uh, Dr. Uh, Juliet can probably share it, because I don't seem to be able to. Um, okay. Have you shared it with the team? Because yes, I've shared it with the team, yes. Okay. Yeah, I've shared it with the team. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, Did you anything to check? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, but um, the, so yes. What you what can do, do is yes. if you toggle there, can, can you see it says present now? No, no I can't. I can't see it. Uh, I only have the file which is on my desktop now, and I don't see any uh, icon to share. But maybe you can just uh, share it. Uh, for me, okay. that's fine. So, so maybe yeah. you can you can start in the meantime, sir. Do you want to speak to us? Maybe while they, um, Caroline, yeah. have you located? Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, I think, I think what, what, what um, I will be mostly talking about is why it is important to learn a second language and to uh, give a student profile in the context. Uh, in which um, uh, we teach, and why is it important to integrate um, uh, te uh, technology in our teaching? This is not a new problem, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an old problem. Uh, the question is how do you begin to use this in teaching a, a, um, a language? Uh, and. Uh, I'll give a list of the assessment uh, types that I've designed and uh, the way forward. Uh, but I think that uh, the crucial thing that we can talk about is that um, uh, assessment is a very important part uh, of teaching and learning. And all assessments lead to uh, some amount of student learning, but uh, the most important thing uh, lies in stimulating the right kind of learning. And what we can refer to is what uh, Baud uh, refers to as a, a double duty. In other words, the assessment, um, it is important that the assessment practices are designed to send the right signals to students in shaping the effectiveness of learning. So there is that uh, interconnect, interconnect, interconnectedness between teaching a, a, and learning. So it's about evaluating student achievements and to be able to teach them better. So assessment, therefore, should be linked to a specific learning outcome or outcomes. This is what we're going to be talking about. So the use of different assessment approaches and strategies, therefore, to assess learning outcomes during a, a, a particular course of study becomes very important. And what has happened with the uh, COVID-19 is that it has expedited the importance of integrating uh, online teaching and online uh, assessments. I think if I would give um, the, the, the module that I'm interested in, that I'm teaching is 
more service courses, looking at the, uh, the pharmacy course, the pharmacy course, the dentistry, uh, and uh, oral hygiene. So these courses are very important uh, because they are meant to promote communication skills in the dentistry and the pharmacy context. I'm very happy that uh, I'm sure we'll have time to uh, interact with the uh, exam because we need to get the the two faculties working together. And um, given the heterogeneous uh, composition of our South African society and um, our history, the promotion of multilingualism, therefore, within communities is uh, of importance. And there's a very strong relationship between your healthcare professional and uh, the client. And, uh, and our key tenants, therefore, are the what you call the Pencil Act, Use of the Official Languages Act, Patients, uh, Patient uh, Rights Charter, the UWC Language Policy, the Charter for Graduate Attributes, and the National uh, Development Plan. Uh, my experience has shown that communication skills uh, causes impact on healthcare workers' ability to interact with their clients and expose them to the culture of those uh, clients. It's very important in closing your social distance, right, and also protects um, patient uh, confidentiality. Uh, our teaching context also presents a, a challenge. Most of the students taking the course have never done COSA before and have little or no previous contact with the language. The classes are fairly big, ranging between 30 and 90, which is a nightmare. Uh, for a language um, course, you need between 12 and 15 students uh, per class. So this, therefore, uh, expedites the importance of the uh, integration of technology in uh, our teaching. Students also come from a diverse background when the huge class is different, it's difficult to have your kind of, uh, uh, individual attention. There's also limitations of time in addition to class sizes because you meet them once a week and it's not important. Therefore, you need uh, to have online interaction with the students. Hence, in this case, you normally have your uh, non-graded uh, kind of assessments uh, um, and um, also um, informative uh, kind of um, assessments. So how you design your, your, your task therefore becomes very important for teaching and learning, right? as it has got to be linked to your learning outcomes. I think if you look at page uh, eight, um, uh, sorry, if you look at page, um, yeah, uh, page uh, 13, um, we looked into your, your, your course uh, out, uh, outcome. So in designing, therefore, your assessment task, you should take into consideration what you want to achieve. If these students are in the, in, in the, in the dentistry, for instance, oral hygiene, it's very important that they are able to, uh, to take uh, personal information or to do history taking, all right? So your teaching and your assessment should uh, more relate uh, to that. The history taking, that also applies to the pharmacy because they've got to take personal information of, of um, the patient. For dentistry, they should also uh, be able to ask about the presenting complaint. Uh, they should be able to take medical history. Uh, they should be able to do an examination and they should be able to do advice uh, after ext uh, uh, doing a, a tooth ex extraction or to give advice as how to keep your healthy teeth. So this, so, uh, th those would therefore be our um, main objectives. For pharmacy, for instance, they should be able to ask uh, the patient whether it's got a doctor script and they should be able to prescribe and advise the patient how to use um, a certain medication. So uh, our assessment uh, uh, design, therefore, 
uh, looked uh, or took that uh, into consideration. And in this case, we um, looked at um, what uh, Uber and Fritz uh, suggested that the for, for your obje- the first step in designing a task should be the learning objectives and to measure the extent to which students have met those objectives and um, achieve those objectives and also to give feedback and uh, to improve um, uh, your teaching. And uh, we also took into consideration uh, Bloom's uh, taxonomy um, pyramid in uh, designing uh, these um, uh, tasks. Uh, Apologies, you have one minute left. Thank oh, you. Okay, I, I think there's also uh, another slide where I give you these different types of um, uh, assessments because our testing included uh, testing on vocabulary, grammar, listening, writing, and uh, reading skills. Uh, but if I may just give one example of one um, uh, assessment that um, uh, uh, we we. We, we, we had this is a, a a test which was meant to test their listening skills and their writing skills so you so you had um, a, a student listening and um, filling in uh, uh, gaps in assessment so he was able to listen and hear and then filling in um, uh, a a um, an assessment based on a voice uh, a prompt. Uh, for instance, you would have, uh, it's not playing. Okay, you can play, for instance, there's a, a, a file there which is uh, called voice. Um, okay, so which one? Yes, if you look there, all right, so that would be your voice prompt, but the student would be able to write that down. But sometimes you give that uh, phrase or sentence and leave in the gaps and student has got to fill in the gaps. And uh, in that case, you, you are showing his listening skills and the writing skills because he has to write correctly. Because if the assessment is going to be marked online, it has got to be exactly as it is. So you all, always have these um, assessments. Some, uh, questions where, where they've got uh, to to match. There's also another assessment where you give them pictures and you'd say they must tell, they must pretend that they are the person in that picture, so they have to tell you that this is what they do, this is their profession. So in this case, you begin to make the uh, students apply uh, their uh, language skills. But uh, I think I would just like now uh, to conclude as a a, a, a way forward. Uh, that language is an important role to play in creating graduates that demonstrate a thorough knowledge of ethical, social, and cultural environmental issues and that are confident and value communication. The use of technology, therefore, is very important in complementing your classroom instructions. For instance, I've included some dialogues which are accompanied by text and students have got to practice those and uh, repeat uh, after the native speaker. I also included pictures and graphics to stimulate uh, real life situations and also use these in teaching and assessment. I was therefore able to align teaching and learning as well as assessment to real life situation. That's the uh, concluding uh, slide, right? And lastly, I would therefore suggest that probably in collaboration with the dentistry and pharmacy, we should be able to develop a multimedia training uh, platform so that students who have not been exposed to COSA uh, and need special attention can use this at uh, their um, uh, special time. So transforming a curriculum, therefore, should inform and guide ourselves in designing a relevant curriculum to promote multilingualism and multiculturalism. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I would uh, stop there. Thank you very much, Sukile, and thank you for all your efforts, sir, and for thinking about the student. Again, you emphasize the importance of how we design our assessments, because we speak about student access, we speak about student success, but what are we 
doing in practice to, uh, to accommodate that. So thank you very much and for working closely with us. We will continue to support you on your journey in terms of online teaching and learning practices. Thank you, Zukid.